I am standing here in front of the Lincoln Birthplace uh, Memorial. This is the uh, place where Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809. We are in uh, just outside Hagenville, Hodgenville, Kentucky. Um, the memorial encloses uh, Abraham Lincoln's, what they thought was Abraham Lincoln's birthplace home. Turns out it wasn't. Um, they did some testing and turned out it's not his birthplace home, but they uh, have a cabin inside that is representative anyway of the house that Lincoln was born in, the log cabin he was born in. Uh, this memorial predates the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. by 11 years. So this is the oldest memorial to Lincoln uh, that, was, that exists. And uh, we're going to go take a look at it. So this is the memorial. Um, we are outside of Hodgenville, Kentucky. This is a, a very rural, non-urban place. Just like it was when Lincoln, was, uh, Lincoln lived here. There are 56 steps leading up to the memorial, one for each year of Lincoln's life. Uh, the memorial itself reminds me quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., uh, which I have been to, but it isn't. Uh, the guys are cutting grass over there, but then you've got a flagpole up here. Um, they raised the flag there when the park opened, uh, when the National Historic Site opened. It looks like there's some other cabins over there. I'm going to take a walk over there in a couple minutes and we're going to see what those are all about. So this is the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace and Memorial. It is the oldest memorial to Abraham Lincoln. Um, predates the Memorial of Washington by 11 years, they said. And inside of that building is that house. They originally thought it was the house he was born in, but they've decided since then that it is not, but it is a house that is kind of like the house he would have been born in. We're about to go in the back door. It says that this memorial erected by popular subscription through the Lincoln Farm Association, and it names all of the people in the Lincoln Farm Association, and then the cornerstone laid by President Theodore Roosevelt, February 12th, 1909 dedicated by President Taft, November 9th, 1911. Over here, oh, this is all the people who were involved in the Lincoln Farm Association. That was the people who uh, were involved in getting the money together to build this uh, memorial. And it's still in a very non-city rural setting, which was what the house was when Lincoln lived here. So they're trying to be, they're trying to be uh, true to what it was when Lincoln was here, when he was born here. He lived here until he was almost three, and then he moved a few miles up the road when his dad lost ownership of the property in a title dispute. And a few years after they moved out of here, he lost in court, and they moved to Indiana. And I've been to that one too. This is the uh, 56 steps down to the flagpole there. 56 steps, once, one for each year of Abraham Lincoln's life. And the sign the thing there says with malice toward none, with charity for all, which was from his I believe his first inauguration address. It looks kinda like the Lincoln Memorial a little bit with the columns. Um, but this predates the Lincoln Memorial by eleven years. So this is the inside of the memorial. Um, it is an eighteen forties cabin. We originally thought it was the cabin Abraham Lincoln was actually born in, but they did some dating on it, and it dates to the 1840s. So obviously not the cabin he was born in, however, still a cabin that was representative of the cabin that he was actually born in. Um, take a look here, because obviously you can't go inside, but we'll come up to the door here. And it is a very, very small living space. I can't tell. It doesn't look like there's anything upstairs. I believe Abraham Lincoln's cabin he was born in had an upstairs loft area, but this cabin doesn't appear to have one. One door, one window. Looks like maybe there's a fireplace over here. Let's take a walk over here. be the fireplace. They took the cabin apart. 
apart and built this building and then put the cabin back together inside the building. This is a timeline of the building of it. Um, this is what it looked like. There's Theodore Roosevelt tending the laying of the cornerstone. And then in 1911, it was dedicated, and President Taft was at the dedication. There is 56 steps leading up to the memorial, um, one for each year of Abraham Lincoln's life. And uh, here is the building today. My bad. I'm thirsty. I'm going to sunken hole. Well, you can go into Sinking Spring. Sinking Spring. The name of the place when uh, Lincoln lived here was Sinking Spring Farm. And down here is the, I guess now it's sunken. It was sinking in 1809 and now it is sunken. I think a question should have, could have been, um, where exactly was the cabin? Was it really up there? I would have to imagine that it was in the neighborhood of up there. Yeah. They, uh, they decided, I don't know if you read inside there, they decided that it's not actually his cabin. Oh, yes, yeah. They, they thought when they built this that it was. Yes, well, the person who owned the property was very uh, good at um, telling stories, I guess. Ew. Thing it looks clean, doesn't it? But it certainly doesn't look clean up there on the rocks. That's a lot of moss. So the spring was sinking. It hath now sunk. <laughs> For your protection and the health of this resource, do not drink the water or throw coins into the spring. Okay. Deal. This looks almost like a well. I mean, look, they've got the, the stones on the side there. It looks kind of built. That doesn't look like that was like that looks like somebody... Well, it, it may have become a well. So it may have made it into a well. I, I, wells are... Things. Right, but, but, and they, they don't usually just right. randomly put something. They it does appear as though some people are ignoring the no coins. You see a coin in there? Isn't that what that is right there? So it looks that way. Bastard. This stuff, I mean, this obviously is built back here. This is not natural. This is, this is brickwork, somebody laid this down. But we are a ways underground here. We're dug down pretty good, so the spring is definitely sunk. Over off to the side of the memorial now, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna see what this is. I don't know what this is. I can't, Kentucky Oak Trail, is that what that says? That sign? Boundary Oak Trail, 10 kilometers. Okay, I won't be walking that today. Boundary Oak was one of the most significant features of Sinking Spring Farm. Until its death in 1976, the Great White Oak remained the last living link to Lincoln. The tree was 30, 25 or 30 years old. When he was born, located less than 150 yards from the cabin where he was born. So that's the tree, apparently. And I am guessing that this brick wall here, maybe, was where the oak was. I think that makes a certain amount of sense, that this would be like where the boundary oak was. It says it died in 1976. And there is at some point what was left of the boundary of the boundary oak. Yeah. 